Hi, my name is Nick Ball. I'm a professor at Brigham Young University. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the learning management system associated with the Excel Educator set of materials for teaching Excel to college students. It was developed uh, by Gov Allen and I for our classes at BYU. One of the things that we've done early on in the process of trying to market this product uh, outside of Brigham Young University is we partnered with a company called Book Educator to deliver the course content. Book Educator has developed SNAP LMS. SNAP LMS, as the name implies, is a learning management system that really manages the student experience with a class rather than just providing the content for that class. We'll talk through the features of SNAP LMS, but first let's point out how to get there. You get to SNAP LMS by pointing a browser to snap.bookeducator.com slash account. Once there, you can log in with the credentials that, that were provided to you. In my case, my, my credentials are my email address at BYU and the password that I've selected for SNAP LMS. Now once I log in, I get a list of all of the classes that I'm the, either the instructor for or a student for. We created this sample Excel class for this particular video, so I'm going to go to that that particular class. So at this point I'm in the instructor view of the learning management system and I can modify everything from announcements to the students to the syllabus for the class, the activities that they need to perform. I can look at the gradebook, send messages to individual people or add people to the class, compose uh, communications for the entire class, view the textbooks for the course that are associated with SNAP LMS, or change the course settings. Fairly robust set of tools that are available to the instructors. I'm going to walk through just a couple of these as I'm sure that most of you are fairly familiar with how learning management systems work. First here is the home screen, which is really a dashboard for the class. We can see the individual assignments that are due in the class, how many students are set up to take the assignment, when the due dates are for those particular assignments, we see things like statistics about the class, how many activities are available to grade, number of instructors, teaching and students, teaching assistants and students. You can see my recent announcements, which I don't have any, and I have some information for how to help students enroll for the class. Also notice we have direct access to the textbook for the course and other book resources such as book, the grade books for the class which we'll talk about in a different video. The textbook is an electronic textbook that is completely integrated with the learning management system. A student can click on a lesson, I just arbitrarily pick lesson three here, and they gain electronic access to the, to the text materials. Now the text materials display well in a browser window on a, a PC or a Mac. They also display quite well in mobile devices such as tablets and even most smartphones. Each lesson has a set of practice problems that a student can work through. So I'll come down to the practice problems here. They can download the file. It's an Excel workbook file. It uses the same format as the assignment so students can get immediate feedback on how they've done on the practice problems. The only difference is the practice problems are not scored and recorded in the gradebook like an assignment would be. Uh, we've got a separate video that walks you through the process of completing an assignment in the class. We also have videos of, of uh, work being done to complete an assignment. So if a student's not sure how to do something, they have both the text materials, videos that are lecture-centric that teach students how to do the stuff, and videos that show hands-on how to complete a particular assignment that they have access to as part of the system. So that's the textbook. I'm going to come back to the home of the sample class here. Notice that I can edit my syllabus like we talked about. Notice that I can edit the syllabus right here in the learning management system. I can go to the gradebook. See how my students are doing in the class. I don't have any scores recorded yet for this particular class but this is where I would go to see scores. We've talked about some of the other things over here. Last thing I want to point out is activities. So this is where I load an assignment for the class. You can create assignments, create groups of assignments. 
So this is where I modify the settings for this particular assignment. So at this point, I've got the assignment worth 100 points. It's due on the 19th of September in 2012. Notice that it's not published. Students aren't able to see this assignment yet, so I'm going to go ahead and change that, that so students can now see this assignment. I can train the system date range for when the assignment's available. Tell it how to handle late work. Display what type of feedback is available to students, although this, this particular setting um, refers to having a quiz built in SNAP LMS and it doesn't refer to the assignments that are graded in Excel. I can also tell the learning management system how many times to allow a student to submit a particular assignment. And this is where I also give instructions for students how to complete the assignment and I assign the lessons to this particular assignment to show the student which lessons that they need to complete as part of the assignment. And finally, this is where I upload the file for students to download to complete the assignment. So at this point, it's, it's time to look at the student view. So the student view can be accessed by instructor by clicking on the Switch to Student View link over here on the right-hand column. Now notice at this point I have two assignments visible to the student, so I've got a progress bar up top that as a student I can see what percentage of the class I've completed that's available to me. I also have the same dashboard as the instructor, so I can see assignments, the textbook for the course, upcoming events, and I have some contact information for the instructors in the class. Clicking on the syllabus link will take me, as you might expect, to the course syllabus. Activities take me to a screen where, as a student, I can access all of the homework assignments. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click on the second assignment, since it's available to me to complete. As a student, what I see when I click on that button is I can see instructions for completing the assignment. I can see the file that I need to download to complete the assignment. And notice I've got direct links to the lessons that are associated with this, uh, this assignment. So to complete this assignment, I need to do these four lessons, and I can click directly on the link here, and it'll take me right to the textbook for that particular lesson. So I've got full integration between the text materials and the assignments that need to be completed by the students. Once I'm done, and at this point I haven't completed this assignment, I can look at my grade for this particular assignment, and it'll tell me at this point I haven't submitted anything. But if I had, it would show me my grade, and if I had multiple attempts for this assignment, I could see how I did each step of the way. And finally, I have access to my gradebook. So as a student, I've submitted the pretest, but nothing else. So I can see my pretest scores, and I can see the other assignments in the class that are available to me. At this point, it's just formulas and functions, and how many points that's worth, but notice I haven't submitted that assignment yet. So that's the learning management system. I just wanted to point out that it's a fully featured learning management system. Um, lots of tools available to instructors for configuring the class. And the learning management system is completely integrated with the text materials, including videos and practice problems, the homework assignments, and a fun fully functional gradebook that captures all of the store scores from the Excel Educator grading system. And uh, one of the pieces of feedback that we got fairly early on from instructors was that they're already using learning management systems um, for their classes, be that Blackboard or Canvas or Moodle. And the folks at Book Educator have made their product, their learning management system, integrated with those learning management systems as well. So you can use SNAP LMS to work with uh, Excel Educator. And then you can export all of that stuff with just a click of the button over to another learning management system that you might be using at your university. So that's SNAP LMS. In other videos we talk about how a student completes an assignment and how the instructor might use the advanced features available to them using the gradebook features of the grading system for Excel Educator.